On the north shore of Maui sits the small town of Paia, a quiet country hamlet to locals and tourists, but Mecca to thousands of windsurfers. For Paia leads to Ho'okipa Beach Park, recognized as the best wave sailing spot in the world. I'm Bo Hodge, and welcome to the second and final stop of the Association of Wave Sailing Professionals, the Maui Grand Prix. We have perfect conditions, 20 to 30 mile an hour winds, four to six foot surf with occasional eight foot sets, and we've got the world's best wave sailors. Sailors including Alex Aguero, top seated for this event, originally from Clearwater, Florida. Alex was the winner of the 1986 Triple Crown, which included the Maui Grand Prix, the O'Neill Invitational, and the Aloha Classic. Ian Boyd, homeboy from San Pedro, California, and the 1987 winner of the O'Neill Invitational. Mark Angulo, resident now on Maui after moving from the North Shore of Oahu. Mark is the original rubber man and is a former winner of the O'Neill Invitational and Maui Grand Prix. Native Hawaiian Dave Kalama, 1990 winner of the O'Neill Invitational. Dave is regarded as Ho'okipa's power man. No move is too big for him. And there's 18-year-old newcomer Jason Polakow from Australia. With a long list of national titles, this is his first year on the international professional circuit. Windsurfing, to me, uh, offers a lot of uh, advantages. Uh, the first thing that I enjoy a lot, it's, uh, it's got the fear factor. That's one of the main things that other sports don't have. Like if you take on a cricket, golf, tennis, they're kind of, they're, I play them, but they're like, they're not really exhilarating. They don't give you that buzz like, you know, car racing or, or you know, the, the 500cc Grand Prix. You know, there's that fear factor involved, and that's what I like about the sport. Uh, you know, there's a, that danger element, and that, that excites me. The first competition heat saw the amateur men do battle in tough conditions, but it was the two 19-year-olds, Francis Goya from Argentina and Aaron Richards from Australia, who fought in a close final, with the Argentinian outmaneuvering Richards for the crown. In the pro women's event, conditions were apparently too strong for complicated aerials, but the wave riding was spectacular, and New Zealander Lena Kerr had to battle Lorraine Daly from Maui in two finals before claiming the women's pro title, and the 1990 from a Maui Grand Prix at Ho'okipa Beach Park. Ho'okipo was not always the first choice of wave sailors. In fact, veteran champion sailor Mike Waltz is credited with being the first to sail the surf here. It was back in 78, and I'd been living on the island for about nine months in Lahaina side, and um, didn't even really know this side of the island existed. And was on my way out to Hana, because it's, you know, everybody has to go check out Hana, and uh -huh. drove right by this beach and just went, wow, I gotta go sailing here. So you thought, okay, this would be a perfect place to go sail. What type of equipment did you use back in 78 here at Hokipa? Back then, that was the first year that foot straps were introduced to the sport. And everybody was still on 12-foot boards. I was on a 12-foot polyethylene, basically a windsurfer with foot straps, a stock standard windsurfer. And um, some of the guys on Oahu were taking their boards down to 11 feet, but there was nothing smaller than that at the time. And things started changing rapidly from that point. Now your first love is windsurfing. I understand you have a second love now, a uh, rock and roll band. Tell us about it. Yeah, basically just music. You know, I've always loved music and I've played guitar for on and off for a long time. And we've been getting into music for the last about three years. But it's the sound of the crashing waves, which is music to the ears right now as the swell builds and the preparation for what everyone has come to see. The world's top sailors and what are arguably the best conditions ever seen for an international wave sailing competition. On the first day of finals, 32 pro men meet in single elimination heats. Each sailor can only lose once, and each has two clashes. Today's man-on-man -man rounds, then again tomorrow. The competition is fierce, as these international professionals from Europe, Japan, Australia, and the United States sail in perfect conditions to give spectators a full day of excitement. In the first round, Shinjo, Japan's hero in the surf, fought out a close battle with an informed Jason Pryor. 
Kai Kachadorian pulled out all the skills only to go down to a determined Jason Polakow. And Alex Aguera had to prove why he's top seed for this event to beat out an unlucky hunt whose wave riding and aerials made for a tense heat. But only eight men can move into the quarterfinals. Boyd met Angulo. Emery battled Kalama. Kelly clashed with Polakow. And Shinjo went head to head with Aguera. As you're about to see, the judges had a tough day. One for you and two for me. Got my car through my chest and a pistol on my knee. There's a meal behind you, eyes in the back of my head. Trying to interpret the lies in what we said. There's no use running nowhere to hide Things we just left by the wayside Little space with new feel waste For a thousand years we sealed our fate Finger on the trigger without any trust Refusing to live when we know it's just When I come to our senses we fall too long With a push of a button it's all gone So by mid-afternoon, there were four men left. Mark Angulo had to tackle a determined Kalama, and Jason Polakow had to face Aguera. After this break, we'll be back with one of the most exciting head-on-head -head battles ever seen on the ocean. Or turn the other cheek once more. Welcome back to Ho'okipa Beach Park and the semi-finals of the Pro Men's Elimination Heats of the From A Maui Grand Prix. First, Mark Angulo meets Dave Kalama. I asked Mark who he saw as his toughest competition. Dave Kalama, definitely. Kalama's the hardest competitor in the contest because he can pull out stuff that no one else can. Okay, and the sound of the horn, we're off into our first semi-final. Mark Angulo, David Kalama. These are two of the hottest riders out here on Maui and the two best wave riders possibly in the world. Floating across, David Kalama. Out the back, Mark Angulo. Kalama's got a closeout section, clean section for Angulo. Races across. Kalama takes it backside. Angulo, forehand, look at the air, floating back down, maintaining position and holds on. Mark Angulo. Five judges judging this heat. First semifinals of the From A Hawaii Wave Sailing Championships. Mark Angulo stalling, looking for the right wave, the right time. Not this one yet. Holding back. Another one behind this one. He knows when to go, and he'll execute. Dave Kalama. Hang time. Count the seconds he's in the air. Two and a half minutes into this heat. Kalama again. What was that? That was back loop. Back loop from Dave Kalama. Angulo taking the drop. Working across the wave. Catching up with the white water. Back in and around again. Going across the water photographer. Big slash off the top. Working around Mark Angulo. Off the back, jiving in David Kalama. This is a very close heat. Angulo still working in and going down. Kalama up and riding. Kalama working high, staying with the wave and jiving back out. Look for the three best waves, the three best jumps, and the three overall impressions, the tricks that are involved. And you decide who wins. Angulo with a forward, with a twist. Kalama jiving on top of the wave, bottom turn, working across. Coming straight down, back across, pumping his sail, back up, Angulo again, a forward, and going down. It's time for Mark Angulo's turn. Woo! Look at that! Goose screw 360, and you can't do it any better than that. Goose screw 360 with time to spare. You've got the best wave sailors in the world here. You've got the best conditions. You're going to see the best maneuvers pulled off. 
First semifinal, Kalama and Gulo. Coming up next, semifinal number two, Polakal and Aguera. One of the best man-on-man -man heats I have seen of all time. And that was only the semifinals. Too hard to call. First time the judges finally give the heat to Mark Angulo in a split decision. A disappointed Kalama talks about what he'd do if he could repeat the heat again. I'd probably try and set up a 360 a little sooner in the heat. Um, I, I felt I was sailing pretty well. I knew it was close, but I hadn't gotten a 360. And then after I saw his, then... You know, all I could do was just try and finish with some kind of style and hope for the best. Next semifinal in the elimination heats is between Jason Polakow and number one seed, Alex Aguera. Sound of the horn, we're up and riding. And up and riding are the first two semifinalists of the second heat. Polakow on your left-hand corner, on your right, Alex Aguera. Polakow, bottom turn, working high. Alex Aguera out the back. We'll have to watch these two simultaneously as they attack on their first waves. Catching some air, Polakow out the back, Aguera. Still hanging tough and floating down on the white water, Alex Aguera. Stalling action. And remaining with the wave. Out the back, here we go. Polakow jumping up, forward loop, and pulling it off. Polakow. Aguera inside. Jive heading back out. Forward loop, Alex Aguera. Out the back, Polakow. This is the semifinal heat number two. What? Tabletop floater down. There's Alex Aguera. Polakow now up and riding. Bottom turn. Board straight up in the air from Aguera. Polakow rebounding well, coming back around. Slashing in on the open face. Working around, hanging up top. Good open forehand spray. Back around to the far left, jiving out, there goes Polakow. Alex Aguera up and riding. We're in the semifinal, heat number two. And we're down to the semifinals, coming up next, the finals, the men's bracket. Three and a half minutes remaining in this heat. Out the back, Polakow. Alex Aguera on the inside, small wave. Two further working in. Cutting back around. Aguera biting the dust on the inside, out the back, Polakow, bottom turn, bashing off the lip, still ripping across his wave. And with the sound of the horn, we wrapped up our second semi-final heat of this year's from a Hawaii Wave Sailing Championship, stop number two. Jason's wave running was obviously superior, pushing the youngest competitor on the PBA circuit through to the final heat. Polakow, nervous but excited, goes up against the fired-up Mark Angulo. The top two sailors head-to-head -head at Windsurfing's Coliseum in epic conditions. Mark Angulo on the far out-hand corner on the left. Jason Polakow on the inside, working through the whitewater. Angulo Jive working in. Angulo heading back out. Jason Polakow out the back. Big explosive wave facing him right now. Let's see what he's going to do. Jump, loop, straight up, and coming back down those first. Jason Polakow. Mark Angulo faced with a big explosive white water wave in front of him. He's got to maintain his position. Work that up top. And he's still up and riding. Jason Polakow out the back. Polakow's running out. Angulo straight up into the air, nose dive first. Able to maintain this one. Jason Polakow, big explosive wave out the back. Let's watch Polakow. Back loop, not able to pull it off. Jason Polakow attempting. Out the back, Mark Angulo, big explosive wave. Here we go. Angulo needs to get the momentum. Bottom turn. He's out there. We can't see him, but he's out there. Working across the face, here comes the rolling white water, right behind him. Spinning across, racing down. Out the back, Polokow, Angulo, slashing off the top, working his way down and losing his momentum, digging in the rail. Couldn't hold on to his boom and he is down. Polokow, now up and riding Jason. Working from right to left, here we go, big open right hand wave. 
turbulent white water area. He could spin out easy here. He's got to watch out. Sticking the board straight up into the air. Coming back down. Hanging on. Jason Polakow. Angulo still down. Angulo swimming for his rig. Polakow still riding in. Polakow heading back out. Angulo out the back. Taking it backside, waiting for the drop. Here he comes. Big drop up top the lip, catching air, floating down. Mark Angulo. Angulo staying with the wave. Bottom turn. And with the sound of the horn, that wraps up the finals of the From a Hawaii Wave Sailing Championships Winners Pro Division. Just coming out of the water from Australia, Jason Polakow, just entering the final. How'd you feel out there? Ah, uh, yeah, it was. I felt pretty good. It was pretty windy, and uh, it was kind of onshore, and the waves are coming this way, so it was really hard to uh, to get some good wave riding. And uh, but you know, I, it was kind of windy too. But you know, I think I had a fairly good heat compared to my other ones. Mark Angulo, Mark, how you feeling? Pretty good. How about you? Big explosive semi-final with Dave Kalama that was got the crowd going, worked your adrenaline going. What was going through your mind going into the final against Jason? Well, I really wanted to keep mellowed out, you know, and just get my points, ride my waves. And uh, I really fell apart. I, I messed up my first couple waves and I just kept trying to do harder and harder to come back. And I just, I don't think I made it through that heat. But Angulo was wrong. In a recount, he defeated Polakow 3-2 to two, to hold a spot in tomorrow's final round of the Pro Men's Championship in the 1990 From A Maui Grand Prix. Back with more right after this break. Welcome back. It's the final day of the From A Maui Grand Prix at Ho'okipa Beach Park, and conditions once again are perfect. Four to six foot north swells and a 20 to 35 knot trade winds. The day started on the sand, though, where sailors took part in the beach cleanup to show goodwill and respect to the people of Maui. But when the weeds and the garbage had all been cleared, all hearts turned to the ocean and the world's top sailors as they fought for the right to the final spot. 32 pro men met in double elimination heats, each having a chance to challenge Mark Angulo in the finals. Brett Lickle outdoes Josh Angulo, then Ralph Sufford, only to be upended by the high-flying John Kelly. Katsuji Sinjo, Japan's hottest star, takes out a few legends on his way to equal seventh, as does Kai Kachadorian. We're down to the top six pro men as Ian Boyd keeps the fire burning and upends Alex Aguera. And Dave Kalama demolishes newcomer John Kelly. Dave, you're waiting to get back into the finals. Let's first talk about the break here at Hokipa. Why do you like surf sailing here? Well, the wave offers a lot of maneuverability. It's, it's um, powerful enough so that you can hit the lips and get thrown back out over into the flats and the combination of the wind blowing side shore to the wave offers you the really spectacular type jumping that's sought after. But Dave Kalama's dream of a final berth ended when he battled Ian Boyd. Two former O'Neill Invitational champions working their way into history. Dave starts a little too aggressively with big aerials and is hard pressed to make up the whole heat. Ian's polish takes over as he's into the finals with Jason Polakow. Both competitors want the championship crown. Jason's from down under and has a surfer style that enables him to be in the top three. Ian may be young, but he's a veteran at Ho'okipa. No 360s or wangaroos, just hardcore ripping. I, I started to loosen up, and then when I get into the groove, then I can start pulling some of the tricks out of, out of the bag and then, uh, you know, just try and put together a complete routine like that. But it all depends on the conditions and, you know, where you are in your positioning. And there's just so many variables involved. I mean, there's the luck of, you know, getting in the right groove with the sets. And it's, it, it can be a little frustrating, but it's good fun. Fun it may be, but Ian Boyd was definitely a serious contender for the championship. Boyd defeats Polakow in the spectacular wave riding show. After five heats, Boyd is still eager to match Mark Angulo in the finals, and Angulo has to pull out all the stops if he wants the crown. Well, here we are, the finals. The Wonder Boy, Ian Boyd, now in his sixth straight heat as he's working his way through the loser's bracket, and he's in the finals with a well-rested Mark Angulo. Both former champions here at Hokipa, and let's get ready for all the action. The surf is starting to build on the outside. Both sailors going out. Boyd on the outside and Gulo on the inside. Mark Angulo attempting a forward loop and pulls it off. 
Again, judges are looking for top four waves and top four jumps with four overall impressions. Now up and riding, Ian Boyd. Bottom turn, working high off the wave. Good forehand spray, stalling. Coming back down. Another big bottom turn, working off the hook. Another forehand spray up the top. And Boyd straightens out his board. A little hop chop there at the end. Still time counting down. This is a 10-minute final heat. Out the back, Mark Angulo up and riding on his first wave. Angulo gaining some speed, working off the lip, catching some air, floating right back down. Good move from Mark Angulo. Out the back in, Boyd, working a forward jump attempt. Here he goes, pumping up his sail. Up, stalling, and forward loop, Ian Boyd. Mark Angulo now riding his wave on the inside, cutting in, working off his bottom turn now. Working up at the top of the lip. Another good spray. Waiting for the wave to produce something for him. Here he goes, crashing back down. Working across. Up, another aerial floating back down. Mark Angulo pulls off yet another great move. Angulo straightening out, out the back. Ian Boyd bashing off the hook of the lip. Here he goes, bottom turn, one hand boom ride. Going back out to the outside is the undefeated sailor, Mark Angulo. Pumping up for a jump attempt. Let's watch him. Stalling, going, and pulls off a forward loop. Now Ian Boyd's turn as he heads back out. Time counting down in this final heat. Tabletop maneuver from Ian Boyd. Again, this is a 10-minute final. Best four jumps, best four waves, and best four overall impressions from the international judges. Another forward loop attempt, and pulls it off, Mark Angulo. Here we go, backward loop this time from Ian Boyd out the back. And all these sailors, former champions here at the Keeper, pulling off all the stops. This is the finals. Here we go, Mark Angulo going for Wangaroo and not quite making it this time around. Well, that's the end of the heat. Too close for me to call. We'll have a word with both of our sailors as they come on up to the beach. You make the call, Mark Angulo or Ian Boyd. I didn't do as, you know what I wanted to do, but I got my waves and I got my jumps. So. Rest up to God. Oh, I, I'm feeling pretty strong. I've been going good all day. Well, I mean, not good, but I've been feeling strong and I've been, I've been happy with my performance. But now after you sail six or seven or even eight heats like that in a day, um, you know, you just, by the end of the day or the end of the heat, you're just so pumped up and so tired you can barely hang on. But you just gotta kinda play the system and play, play the, you know, the game and, and, and work to the, uh, how the judges or what they're looking for and you just gotta kinda play the system and go, go like that. Playing to the system wasn't enough this time. Mark Angulo won the final against Boyd and the 1990 from a Maui Grand Prix Pro Men's Championship. A few words from the champion. How did it feel out there? Sitting all day, just waiting, watching everybody tear it up. Nerve-wracking, definitely. You lose a lot of confidence watching everyone rip out in front of you. But this was pretty much a great event. It was one of the best ones I've been in. And, you know, the conditions were unbelievable. The sponsors were great. I can thank Gentry Sports and from A and everybody that put effort into this. Craig Yester and all the people here. It was a great event. And uh, can't get more stoked. Yeah, Rodney, right on, right on. All the local boys. Aloha. And probably the only man happier than Mark today is AWSP co-director Craig Yester. Let's talk about the uh, Maui Grand Prix. This is the last stop of the 1990 tour. What would you like about this event here at Hokipa? Well, we were just blessed with the best conditions that's ever been seen in a competition. Uh, we have the top performers, Jason Polakow, Mark Angulo, Ian Boyd, Alex Aguera. Everyone was just busting out all the moves. We didn't have as much prize money as some of the big budget events, but uh, these guys were giving us the best performances that have ever been witnessed in any contest. So this is the very first year, 1990, of the AWSP, the Association of Wave Sailing Professionals. Give us a year in review of this event. Well, at Diamond Head, we didn't have the best conditions, but everybody supported it. We had Robbie and Cesare coming in. A lot of the local guys sailed real well and we got a lot of TV exposure which is what we want to do for the sport. We know the sport of wave sailing is the most spectacular and we just have to get it promoted in that way. Came over to Maui, we knew that we were going to have a possibility of better conditions, we got them, we got ideal conditions, we couldn't have asked for anything more and we had the best performers pulling out all the moves. Uh, Mark Angulo's 360 on the face against in the semifinal against Dave Kalama was, they're calling it the move of the decade. So that's, we've seen the best wave sailing ever and it's been done in competition, we couldn't ask for anything more. There's a